All right. Just another one of my quick, semi-quick, crappy videos on something I have not seen an actual review for. Uh, in case you can't figure out what this is, or read titles, um, it is a representation of the Elder Maxon Battle Coat from a company, uh, USA Jackets, I think is what it was called. I got it a while back. Um, I don't wear the jacket, really. Um, because it's not cold enough here in California, even during the winter, for me to actually wear it around. I did wear it a couple of times, and uh, it was recognized uh, for what it was. So I guess it's accurate enough. Um, yeah, the company is in Pakistan, so don't expect the greatest quality. Um, there was some problems with it, but I fixed it. Um, like there was like little weird white spots where the dye wasn't applied properly or something. Um, so I got a partial refund from them back when I did that. And uh, I got some Phoebings Pro Dye. I believe I used uh, Chocolate Brown. And uh, yeah, it remedied it. It matches pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a close enough approximation of what Elder Maxon's coat looked like. Um, we got, you know, the stitching on there, you know, for like when it was repaired on, on his, you got the patch, you got the, uh, you know, kind of rounded collar. I've seen some that were like weirdly pointy. Um, got all the straps, buckles, things like that. It's a decently long coat. You got these really deep side pockets here. Uh, I have a couple of fingerless wool gloves in there. Um, you can definitely fit, you know, a 10 millimeter in here like it was a holster. You know, it actually kind of expands out. Um, the belt was way too long uh, when I got mine, so I actually shortened it, restitched it, and actually cut a slit in it so it attaches to this strange button. Like how there's one over here, there's one there. It looked like it was kind of attached there in the game. I also cut down the belt here and squared off the end. That was a pain in the ass to stitch back together. And it came out alright. Uh, because it was like pointed when I got it. Too long. Um, there's no buttons. There's not even a hole on this side to correspond with that. Um, it's a decent coat. You know, you got your epaulets and everything. You got your fake fuzzy like wool kind of stuff. The uh, padding goes all the way down. Um, the uh, buttons are not the greatest. They actually, you can't see them, but it says wear jeans on them, which is odd. And the, you know, they kind of bend. But um, I probably can replace those at some point anyway. The inside, you have this diamond pattern liner. Lining. And you have your pockets. Pretty deep ass pockets. They go in there. You can lose your phone in there, that's for sure. Unless you have one of them tablet sized phones, then I guess you're alright. Both sides, pockets are both kind of different in their style. Um, I did reinforce them down on the bottom just a little bit to make sure that uh, things didn't fall all the way through. Um, I'm gonna give it a quick flip around so you can see the back. All right, here is the back. There is no under collar to hold up the collar up like his, so that's a little bit tricky. Um, you have your stitching and stuff. It already kind of had a little bit of a wear look on it. Um, uh, dog's barking. Hang on a second. Okay, I don't want to have to redo this video, so... <laughs> um, sorry about that. Um... But I did the rest of it on my own, uh, with a little bit of water, alcohol, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I saw some images and I kind of wanted to replicate it a little bit, so I gave it a little bit of that look and uh, came out all right. Um, so I also darkened up some of the straps just a little bit with the dye, um, but I, I left it mostly as is. I did have to. Give it a little bit of a cleaning off, and then I uh, used some mink oil, and then I decided to hit it with some uh, 
Hubbard shoe oil uh, to give it a little more protection. You have to use a blow dryer, but I was careful with it so I didn't cook my leather. It's uh, it's not bad um, for being, you know, Pakistani leather. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I when I did wear it uh, before I did the modifications, it was recognized by some some dudes at a box lunch store in the mall so it does have the look but i think it looks better now um so yeah if you're interested in trying to get one of these since i have not seen another video on these you can uh check them out just beware that their quality standards aren't the greatest like uh you know this sleeve leather is a little bit different than than this sleeve's leather them together you can kind of see that this one's a little on the shinier side it's a little softer this one's got a little bit more of a rough and thicker look to it i like this side better <laughs> um but uh yeah good for cosplay i didn't really get it for cosplay i got it because i like fallout i'm a big fan of it in uh in cold winter i wanted something like that so that's what i went with so that was my quick crappy video on the Elder Maxon battle coat from uh, USA Jackets, I think it is. Um, so hopefully it was helpful.